Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do unspoken love messages from your soulmates. So let's hop into it, see what they want to say to you. If there's anything they're holding back. And remember, we have more than one soulmate. So this will resonate however it does for you, whoever you're dating or who's on your mind. So let's go ahead. Okay, and let's see what we've got. First one, star ancestors, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. So right now, you're really being urged to look at this connection, this soulmate connection from a different perspective. What is the lesson behind it? What are you learning out of this connection? Perspective, zoom out and look at the common ground. None of this matters. So in the past, you could have went through a number of difficulties with this soulmate. They're really saying none of that matters to remember that the two of you are ultimately learning and growing as individuals. Now we've got called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. So your soulmate is being urged right now, as are you to really trust in this connection and where it's headed and to step up into that role. Don't be afraid to stand out, to shine, to let yourself be seen with this person as well. It's like for some of you could be a little shy when it comes to this connection. Say it's newer. They're really just saying to look at it from a new perspective. If you get this vibe, like this person specifically is someone you haven't dated yet, but you just have this inner knowing or this feeling, this definitely could be someone that you're meant to be with. But that won't apply for everyone. For some of you, often than not, we can also confuse our intuition with the red flags that your body is telling you not to avoid. So just making sure you have that discernment. Now with the world in reverse, this could be someone that lives at a distance from you, this soulmate. Definitely could be someone younger than you with the page of wands in reverse. Six of pentacles, they wanna bring you some sort of opportunity when it comes to love. Could be a Virgo or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They see you as this knight of pentacles, very stable, very loving, giving, and someone who's building. So your soulmate, if they know that you're working on a new career, a new business, they want to reunite. For some of you, this is someone you've either never dated or you are in a separation from. Now, Ace of Swords here, there's been a lot of conflict between the two of you when it comes to this situation. Neither of you really making the move forward and neither of you putting an end to the connection either. So really just leaving the two of you wondering what's happening next. Spirit's saying it's time for one of you to reach out to the other. So let's see if it's going to end up being your soulmate. Well, they do have the King of Cups energy. So when it comes to this connection, your person actually feels really emotionally balanced with you, with your love, with the energy you provide to this connection. And Five of Pentacles, if the two of you have been in any sort of separation, distance, or just a separation in the relationship, they are wanting to reunite they don't want to have any more distance between the two of you. And it could have been up to five months with that five there on the five on the kind of clock there. So five months and no communication for some of you or five months of getting to know each other, taking it slow, take it out resonates. But with that two of swords, the end of confusion and conflict for a lot of you, you've been working on your own wish fulfillment. Wow. The lovers is right below that. Beautiful. So definitely a true soulmate connection there. That is so beautiful to see. This could be a new connection. And for some of you, this is someone you've been in separation with for up to five months. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got a lot of water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Then we've got the Knight of Pentacles and a lot of pentacle energy. So could also be dealing with a earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Okay, so messages more from your soulmates. We got two more cards and then we'll do some love messages. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. So they really want to bring some more stability and balance to your life. That is so beautiful. King and Queen of Cups. This person wants to live with you or wants to take things to the next chapter. It's like the two of you could be, if it's a newer connection, you're both independent doing your own thing. They want to try and find a way to bring the two of you together when it comes to a work and home life. Bring the two of you together in love and possibly you're either going to live together or just take things to a more serious level and a commitment. 
This person sees you as their equal, their true pair, someone that really balances them out when it comes to emotionally. And you offer this person unconditional love, whether you've truly let them know that or not, they're aware of the unconditional love that you hold for them. And they find it to be truly beautiful. You could definitely be a water sign or dealing with one if not. And if there is no one that resonates with being a water sign, it just really represents a balanced outpour of emotions. So the two of you really recognizing the depth of this connection as well, knowing that you're soulmates, knowing that you connect on that higher level and knowing that you have that ability to really connect with each other. Like, look at that. They're totally in sync right now. It's like without words having to be spoken, you and this person, you and your soulmate just have this ability to really connect on a passionate, deep level. And so for some of you having those deep conversations about life and where you're headed to next and the connection you share, that is part of the most important parts of your relationship. This person sees you as a true equal, though. It's truly beautiful energy to be in. They have a lot of respect for you and amount, an immense amount of deep, passionate feelings. So your soulmate definitely recognizes the connection that the two of you share. Now, let's get some messages from your soulmate. Is there anything they're holding back or they'd want to say to you? Let's see what we've got. Okay, so it's your soulmate holding back. A couple flipped, but none kind of popped out there. <laughs> One more shuffle and we'll just pull if none comes out. All right. Okay. Oh, there you go. Tons just flew out. Oop. I want to be much more than friends. So for some of you, this is someone new in your life, a friend of yours, but they... They know you're a soulmate. They want to take this to the next level. It says, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. Beautiful. This person really appreciates you. I'm ready to build our lives together now. It says, I'm sorry I ran in the past. You're my person. No one has ever made me as happy as you have. Let's start our own family together. So that's really beautiful energy. This person has a lot of love and respect for you. And the next one says... I'm too scared to lose you to make any sort of move. Instead, I'm stuck in my head about you most of the time. So this soulmate, that's what they're holding back from you, but also want to communicate in this reading. Just the fact that they are either holding their emotions back from you or their ability to really communicate clearly with where this connection's headed. And that's why we see the two of cups in reverse, because the two of you haven't fully either come together in union or you're experiencing a separation. Now, with I denied my feelings for you and ultimately it hurt both of us. I'm sorry I let you down. I'm sorry I let us down. So for some of you, definitely a past soulmate, someone you have disconnected from. You could have remained friends with them for some of you. When I think of love, I think of you. You are my happy place. You have this amazing ability just to calm me down by being with you. So this soulmate of yours really feels your healing ability when you're with them just to really calm them down. Let me show you off more. Beautiful. Look at that. A couple more messages. No one can take your place. Okay. Your person means business. Your soulmate. Next one says, I've been hiding my feelings for you. So this person could be coming across as a friend, an acquaintance, someone you kind of know, but ultimately they do want to open up. And I still remember everything about the day that we met. So for a lot of you, this is definitely someone you have already met and have in your life, either as a friend or someone you previously dated and disconnected with. Take it how it resonates. But this soulmate overall has an outpour of emotions. And with the queen and king of cups, that is a true union, a true pair, a true soulmate match. So know that your person is definitely wanting just to show you off more and really claim you as their person. It's like they want to scream it from the rooftops or maybe just show it off on the gram or however, maybe the two of you take you out and about to meet their friends and family and just really show off how much love they have for you because this person feels like no matter what, no one can take your place. And for some of you, if they've separated from you, they tried and they learned the hard way that no one can take your place collective. 
this soulmate learned that you are home to them. You are the person they want to build with and grow a stable, solid foundation with. And it's kind of like bothering them with the Ace of Swords here. If they've been hiding their feelings for so long, they really want to amp things up, take it to the next level and see where the connection goes between the two of you. Now, if they haven't moved, they're scared to make a move. They don't want to lose you. But it's kind of getting to be overwhelming to them because they know that you bring them so much emotional stability and balance. So that's really beautiful energy to be in. It looks like your soulmate, what they're not conveying to you is if this is a friend, they really want to be much more than friends. They've been hiding feelings for you. And if this is someone from your past who you've just kind of kept in your life as a friend, they're letting you know that no one will ever be able to replace you. And they just want to be able to show you off the connection more and move forward with you to stop denying their feelings and to really come together as a true union. So this is such a beautiful message for today. Like this person wants a family with you, at least living together. That's for sure. So for a lot of you, this might come as a shock if it is a friend to you or someone you're just acquaintances with, or even if it is someone from your past also might come as a bit of a shock. But just know this is a beautiful shock and totally an emotionally balanced pair. So the most important thing you can trust there. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to leave that there, but I hope it resonated. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if it did. And until next time, take care.